Hi folks, back again. Uh, I think this is, well, it's Bathrobe Chronicles on the Road, and I think this is uh, number six, part two, and the other one, uh, the last one, part one, I was coming up the beach, I think. Uh, and maybe I questioned if I'd made, made the right turn or had the right directions. Anyway, uh, I ended up at this campground, which is uh, at the end of an island, across from uh, Pensacola and it's the it's Fort Pickens uh, I'm not really sure what Fort Pickens is but I've got a brochure here I'm gonna look at later today and I did see the fort on the way in man has this been interesting I'll tell you um, I left Texas because of primarily well, I needed to get this way anyway sometime, but I left primarily uh, and left Texas because of the, the weather. I mean, it's, you know, was dreadful out there. And my understanding is the Super Bowl this weekend. I don't follow that stuff, but that's what the news is saying. And boy, those folks are going to have a mess out there. Uh, the other night I stayed at Cracker Barrel, and I, I mentioned that. And I think a lot of these things I'm repeating myself, and I apologize. And, and the reason is not that it <laughs> is any different because I'm still repeating myself, is the fact that I'm not doing them like I used to because I don't have any. Uh, inter I haven't had any internet service for the past uh, couple of days or so, and one of the I'm headed to town today. And the primary reason is I'm going to try and find one of those little plug-in things that you can plug into your computer. And, and get the internet. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be successful. I'm going to head over to uh, Pensacola and I think most of those uh, Sprint and Altel or whomever, I think most of those places have these things. However, I don't want one on a monthly basis. I just want one you fill up and use till it's gone. But anyway, uh, be that as it may, uh, real interesting experience last night. So I, I get to this place and you know check in with the park ranger and uh, come down to the camping area it's pouring down rain <laughs> I've never backed up this trailer before and this doesn't have one of those pull throughs for those of you who don't have trailers it, it's just what it says pull through in other words you go into the campground and you have this long place where your trailer is going to sit but you pull in one end of it and get, when you get ready to leave you pull out the other end of it this one you have to back the little guy in and uh, not I'm not making up for my being incompetent at this which I surely am but one of the problems with a smaller trailer is it's got such a short wheelbase and also people say that a trailer that only has one axle is tougher to maneuver than one with two I don't care how many axles it had I'm sure I would have had the same problem so I try to get in this place, try to get in this place, try to get in this place three, four, five times. Then I zip around and I'm looking at other places to see if there's one easier to get in. So I come back to this one and I'm messing around and this nice gentleman next door, <laughs> finally, I guess he saw my plight as you might say, he came out and said, hey, do you need some help? I said, man, do I ever need some help? If you can back this baby in, please do. So he backed it in. And then we talked a few minutes. He's uh, uh, from Alaska, and uh, I guess he's just hanging out and roaming the country and stuff like that. But he was awfully nice to do that. And as I said, it was pouring down rain. Now the next problem is going to come. I've got to disconnect this baby today uh, when I go to town. The next problem is going to come when I try and get the hitch on the thing because you've got to back up and of course you know there's no one there to guide you or anything like that so that'll be the next problem but uh, anyway I don't know what else if anything I wanted to say oh I know uh, I fell out last night about eight or nine o'clock I was just absolutely whipped and so I woke up about three or four o'clock in the morning and I decided I was going to get organized one of the problems I've had is I you know, half the stuff I can't find. I have to go through box after box after box after box. Nothing is organized. And when I was getting ready to leave home, I had all this stuff out. I wanted to get it organized in, but I just ran out of time and threw everything in boxes and, and hit the road. 
I mean, simple things like I can't, one of the cam, um, I have four cameras with me, and uh, one of them I can't even find the battery charger. No telling where that is. And all these wires for the different cameras, you know, they're all over the place. Uh, so I decided once and for all, I'm going to try and get this thing organized. So I think I'm going to stay here at least two days, most likely three days. Man, this is a really nice place out there, and I'm going to shoot some videos sometime, either today, tomorrow, or sometime. And the, the beaches, they're just amazing. The, the, the um, uh, sand looks, it's so white, it looks just about like snow. Uh, it's just really beautiful here, to use that word. Um, but anyway, so the rest of my day, I'm going to uh, head out and try and get one of those little gizmos uh, for the Internet. And I'm going to take the computer and everything just in case I can't find one. And uh, I'm going to try and find some kind of Wi-Fi joint and uh, upload. Uh, I think I have several videos that I haven't uploaded yet. And upload the videos. And um, um, the, the last two McDonald's I've stopped at, I haven't been able to get the uh, Internet connection to work. So I haven't looked at emails or anything you know, for, for a couple, three days now. But anyway, that's sort of the story. Hope you folks are doing well. And as Pat Condell would say, peace, ladies and gentlemen, peace.